Farina rings a bell, it's no wonder. This legendary design house has created some of the world's most iconic and beautiful cars, like the Ferrari 365 Gran Turismo Berlinetta, Ford Daytona, Maserati Gran Turismo, and Alfa Romeo Spider. These vehicles have set the bar high in automotive design, making Pininfarina a beloved name among car enthusiasts. Now, Pininfarina is stepping into the spotlight on its own, creating electric cars for passionate collectors. Their ultimate goal? A whole range of zero-emission vehicles. And they're starting with the stunning Batista hypercar. We even gotta take it for a spin and review it. Named after the company's founder, Batista Farina, this hypercar isn't just about looks. It packs nearly 1,900 brake horsepower and a top speed of over 200 miles per hour. Few cars can match that kind of power, and even fewer can do it while looking this good. Mahindra, which owns Pininfarina, calls the Batista the most powerful road-legal Italian car ever built. The Batista blends Pininfarina's rich heritage with cutting-edge technology. Its sleek, aerodynamic design is meticulously crafted to boost both performance and aesthetics. This car is a testament to Pininfarina's commitment to excellence, innovation, and sustainability. Looking ahead, it's clear that Pininfarina isn't just joining the electric vehicle revolution, they're leading it. The Batista is proof of their dedication to excellence, blending their rich heritage with cutting-edge technology to create a hypercar that's as powerful as it is beautiful. Check out our review in this video on the legendary Speedmaster, the Pininfarina Batista. Exterior Design Pininfarina promised that all its cars would be beautiful, and they've definitely delivered with the Batista. No matter where you stand, the Batista is a stunning piece of automotive design that looks every bit as fast as its specs suggest. There's an old saying among pilots, if it looks right, it is right. And the Batista definitely looks right. From the low, sharp nose to the vents in the bonnet, and from the contour doors to the massive rear spoiler, the Batista looks incredible. And it gets even better when you open the doors. Interior Design while the exterior design of the Batista is undeniably one of its main attractions, the interior is just as spectacular. Like the exterior, customers can customize the interior to their liking, but the configuration of our test car was pretty much perfect. The carbon fiber tub showed through under the quilted carpets and around the doors, while the seats were trimmed in luxurious tan leather. The fixtures and fittings were highlighted with machined aluminum. The front seat passenger doesn't get much to play with, aside from an air vent, but the driver has a simple and elegant three-screen setup. There are two touchscreens for controlling vehicle settings and infotainment, plus a small central screen that shows speed, trip data, and the current drive mode. There are also two dials positioned on either side of the driver. The one by the left knee controls the drive mode, while the one by the right knee operates the forward and reverse gears. It's an uncomplicated design, somewhat reminiscent of Ferrari interiors, but it's all beautifully made and incredibly stylish. Exactly what you'd expect from a car costing more than two million pounds. Like a true supercar, it does lack space, with only a few tiny cubby holes in the front and an almost laughably small boot. But then again, what did we expect? Performance. When it comes to performance, power output, and acceleration, the Batista really shines. Under its sleek Italian exterior, the mechanical components are largely sourced from Croatian electric car maker Rimac, the same company that made headlines when Richard Hammond crashed one of its cars into a Swiss hillside. Rimac provides the lower part of the Batista's carbon fiber monocoque and the drivetrain, while Pininfarina handles the rest of the assembly. Rimac's contributions include four electric motors, one for each wheel two gearboxes, one for each axle, and a 120 kilowatt per hour battery that sits low behind the seats and stretches out in a T-shape beneath what would normally be the transmission tunnel. Together, these components give the Batista a jaw-dropping total of 1,874 brake horsepower and an official range of 300 miles on a single charge. Taking Batista to its limit. Autocar recently took the 1,900 horsepower Pininfarina Batista to its limits on Natrax's National Automotive Test Tracks, Madhya Pradesh, 11.3 kilometers high-speed track. And boy, did they make some noise? They set a whopping five new speed and acceleration records. The highlight? Well, the Batista hit a mind-blowing top speed of 358.03 kilometers per hour, making it the fastest EV ever recorded in India. Yep, you heard that right. It's breaking barriers and setting records left and right. Now that's what you call pushing a hypercar to its limits and the Batista certainly knows how to deliver. New production world records. You won't believe what the Pininfarina Batista just pulled off. 
This electric beast didn't just break records, it left them in the dust during its time at the Natrax high-speed track in India. Picture this, the Batista goes from 0 to 300 kilometers per hour in a mind-blowing 10.49 seconds. That's like going from 0 to highway speeds in the blink of an eye. And if that's not impressive enough, it blazed through a quarter mile in just 8.55 seconds. Talk about setting the bar sky high, but it's not just about the Batista's performance, it's also a nod to the incredible Natrax track. Designed for top speed runs and acceleration tests, this track is where legends are made, and the Batista proved it belongs among the best. Paolo Dallaccia, CEO of Automobili Pininfarina, couldn't be prouder of what the Batista achieved. Bringing this hypercar to India for the first time was a milestone moment, showcasing its record-breaking potential to the world. And let's not forget about the Batista's other epic records, like going from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 1.79 seconds and breaking from 100, 0 kilometers per hour in a jaw-dropping 31 meters. It's a speed demon that's rewriting the rulebook on what's possible in the world of hypercars. In short, the Pininfarina Batista isn't just breaking records, it's rewriting them with every mile it conquers. And with each new achievement, it cements its status as a true icon of speed and performance. If we're talking about speed, the Pininfarina Batista is a true marvel. The Batista boasts a mind-blowing top speed of 358.03 km per hour, making it the fastest electric vehicle ever recorded in India. This isn't just impressive, it's record-breaking, and that's not all. This beast can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour, 96 kilometers per hour, in a jaw-dropping 1.79 seconds. Yes, you read that right. Less than two seconds to hit highway speeds. It's like driving on rails, with every turn and twist of the road met with confidence and finesse. And let's not forget about the braking. The Batista holds the global braking record for electric vehicles, coming to a stop from 100 to 0 kilometers per hour in just 31 meters. That's the kind of stopping power you need when you're pushing the boundaries of speed. It's not just a soulless speed machine, it's a work of art on wheels. From its sleek exterior to its meticulously crafted interior, every aspect of the Batista is designed to evoke emotion and excitement. So if you're in the market for a hypercar that's as fast as it is beautiful, look no further than the Pininfarina Batista. It's a speed demon unlike anything else on the road, and it's ready to take you on the ride of a lifetime. For more exhilarating content like this, don't forget to subscribe.